What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay miniature rescue. Today we're going to open this pretty crazy package and see what's inside. So a few weeks ago I got an email from Russell H and he had these Zangor Enlightened sitting around and they had been started and he thought hey you know these could use some finishing and some rescuing. So he sent them on over and I appreciate that very much Russell and I hope you like the outcome. Starting with Electric Blue I'm going to go off of the already airbrushed color that's already on the model and just brighten that up to get a little bit of a varied skin tone and kind of like a blue zenithal with what's already going on here. Bringing in some of that trusty dwarf skin, we're going to do a little more variation on the skin and I want to bring in a little bit more of that natural skin tone into these Zangors. I like that look a little bit more than kind of just a straight blue color with a wash on it. So this is going to give us a little bit of muscle tone and it's going to show that, you know, there is blood pumping in these weird bird creatures. So Russell asked if I would incorporate orange into the overall look of these Angors. So with Troll Slayer orange, I'm just going to base coat a few different things, mostly cloth and some of the armor, stuff like that. And that's going to give us a nice base coat for orange to work from. Because orange is going to be our secondary color, I'm going to bring in Screaming Bell once again, and that's going to cover a majority of our armor. And the reason for that is because pretty much copper in general just has that orange hue to it. And we can shift that in a couple different directions, whether we want it to be dirty or we want to put something else on it to make it look a little bit different to stand out. But it's still going to have that orange copper feel to it. Working with three of these Zangor Enlightened gives a little bit of variation on, you know, those, those two different colors that we're working with. So we're kind of in the blue and orange territory. On this one in particular, that orange really stands out and I think the copper helps tie that together. Now we're going to start filling in some details using Gray Seer, which is one of the new contrast colors or the one that they recommend to use for contrast paints. I want to incorporate some contrast into this project because there are a lot of opportunities with say the bone and you know the large platform that they're writing on the discs to use contrast and see what we can do what we can get away with I suppose to achieve a nice result and not have to do a ton of work. I couldn't remove these models from their base so we're going to have to work around that a little bit. I'm going to glaze in a little bit of Fire Dragon Bright onto all the orange areas, so the robes and on this guy in particular, that head plume and the fire out of his staff. And that's just going to give a nice fire effect overall and a little bit of a highlight to work from.
bringing in our first contrast paint in Pterodon Turquoise. I'm going to use this to cover the entire disc that the Zangors are riding on. And this is going to set us up for a pretty nice look. Uh, right out of the pot, this paint looks really nice over a pretty light base coat. And I sprayed a little bit of gray around the disc and try, you know, try not to hit his feet or anything. Um, and even with a little bit of color variation, this color covers really well and it has a really nice effect. Magos Purple is going to be used for the underside of the discs. And again, I didn't cover all of that blue that was there before, so some of this purple is going to react to that blue and change just a little bit. So those are going to be some, some darker spots. But overall, it has a really nice natural appearance to it. And because of the way that these paints were designed, you know, it's going to fill in a lot of those recesses and you're going to see some of that other color showing through. So I'm also going to bring this in on the armor, you know, to kind of do the same thing. We want to tint it a little bit. I don't want it to be, you know, overpoweringly copper. So a little bit of this purple on that copper is going to look pretty nice. Then coming in with Iand in yellow, that's going to take care of the beaks on each one of these Zangors. I'm going to use Corax White to highlight a lot of that gray that I did earlier. So a lot of their hair and kind of the weird little feathery bits sticking out of their skin, I covered with that gray sear. So now I'm going to go back in a little bit tighter and just highlight each one of those pieces on their skin. I decided to hit each one of the gemstones on the models with this Corax White just to set us up for any kind of gemstone effects or maybe some contrast that we're going to put over it later on. Using a one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium to skeleton horde, I'm going to take care of all of the horns and bone. With Warp Lightning, I'm going to take care of a few of the feathers that are strewn around on a couple of these models. And the reason that I'm bringing in green, and this one in particular, is because it has a real nice luminescence to it, and I think it's really what contrast paints were meant for. You know, you're getting this kind of small item that you don't need to go into too much detail on, but it's going to give you a really nice pop of color. The other reason being that this green works really well with the rest of the colors that we have on the model. So while it stands out and gives contrast, it doesn't feel too out of place. So I've been using a lot of new metallics lately. And this is just another one in the line that I'm trying to see how it works and, you know, which ones I like best. And to be honest, this metallic has been my favorite so far. And in the air edition, not the regular one out of the bottle, because it's already pre-thinned and it just goes right on the model with no problem. I know a lot of people have recommended the Vallejo metallics, the ones in the bigger bottle that use the actual metallic flakes. And I haven't tried those yet, but I definitely am planning on 
doing so. Now that our contrast paint is dry, I'm going to do some dry brushing starting with Administratum Gray on the disc. In an effort to get more contrast out of these models, I wanted to keep the metallics to a minimum on these discs. And I know traditionally that they are filled in, but I felt like this dry brushing really worked. Now stepping it up a little bit with Grace here, I'm just going to hit some of the larger details and make them a little bit brighter. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Russell H for sending these Zangor Enlightened in. I've never really painted anything Zinch before, and I've always been interested in the new Zangors and everything that have come out, so thank you for giving me that opportunity. Also I think we were able to accomplish some pretty good work with these contrast paints. You know, I'm trying to bring them in just a little bit into, you know, a few different projects just to really see what they're made of, you know, how they work with pretty much the process that we've been using for years to paint these models. And so far I've been pretty happy with most of the colors. I really like the small bottles of Gracier and Corax White. I think those are fantastic colors. And even if you don't want contrast paints, those paints alone as base coats are very, very good. In the end, I really enjoyed how these came out. I'm pretty happy with the orange. I really like how the skin ended with that transition from the airbrush. And I'm really happy with the way that my new airbrush has actually been working out for these kinds of things in particular. So pretty soon I'm gonna be putting out a review on the Badger Sotar 2020. Thank you again for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment and thank Russell for sending in these awesome miniatures. I am Casey, and I will see you in the next video.